Tego is an adventurous support who left his cave after many years to finally explore the world. He is still a little bit scared, but he's not alone. His best friends, the Fireflies, are with him. While he may not look like it, Tego is really nice and always wants to make new friends. So don't be too rough on him. Welcome to the Tego Champion Spotlight. The Fireflies, they are my best friends. Tego's passive, Glow Up, is meant to be taken quite literally. He carries around 5 Firefly friends, which he can place on the map using his abilities, creating a small area that grants buffs and vision for a certain amount of time. When Tego is walking through these fields, he has a Glow Up, getting increased movement speed, stronger auto attacks and a bit of tenacity. Because no one can stop the power of friendship. Allied champions also get a bit of movement speed, while opponents are slightly slowed. When two fireflies are in the same area, they combine forces, increasing the effects of the field. The vision, however, is not impacted. Tego loves to explore and discover new things, but that can be scary when you're alone. Luckily, he isn't. His Q is his two-stage ability. At first, Tego activates his lantern, gaining movement speed. He now has a limited amount of time to reactivate this ability. With every reactivation, Tigo places a Firefly on the ground, creating a glow-up field. He can do this as often as he has Firefly stored. This ability also has a passive. Instead of attacking wards to destroy them, Tigo can consume them into his lantern, giving him a stack for each ward consumed. With every stack, the radius of his glow-up fields increases, including division. However, he can only have a maximum of 5 stacks and loses them again upon death. His Q is not the only way to get the fireflies on the map. With his W, Fire or Fly, Tego spins his crystal and fires one of his fireflies to the desired location, dealing a bit of damage and revealing enemies hit. Hello, Gloomy. If he has a firefly stored, a glow up field will be created at the landing spot. If he does not have one ready, he can still use the ability, but no field will be created. Allies hit by this ability gain a shield. The shield duration is increased when the ally stands in a glow up field. Using your E ability, a small leap may be a small one for Tego, but can be a giant one for his team. Tego jumps a short distance and slides over the ground, knocking enemies aside. He can jump over terrain, but only with the right timing and when there is vision on the other side. If there is not, or if he's already sliding, Tego will bump into the wall, ending the ability. Tego's ultimate Lightbringer will bring light into the dark, for your team at least. He slams his lantern to the ground, dealing damage around him and destroying all enemy wards in the area created. Enemies within the area become nearsighted, meaning they can't see the outside of the area when inside. The ability becomes larger and lasts longer with every point invested into it. The darkness can be scary. Let me help you. Sir. Tego can provide great vision in lane and nice feel for his AD carry. However, his damage output is not that high. He really shines when it comes to providing information for his team and helping other lanes acquire leads. Into the Unknown gives him the tools to spot the enemy and make it harder for them to surprise his allies. While this champion has quite a bit of mobility, don't be fooled. Most of it only comes from his movement speed and using his glow up fields or the Q can come at a heavy price. When I'm scared, my friends are here for me. Overall, his abilities need to be used carefully. You need to know what you get from every firefly for the best results. Running away because you invaded too aggressively without being able to jump over walls can be heavily punched. Tego has good engage and disengage tools and can have massive impact in teamfights, especially with his ult. But it can be hard to pull off. Carefully preparing and getting advantages through vision can drastically increase your chances of success. You see, Tego may be of giant size, but he's gentle, as long as you are. He's always happy to meet new friends to join him on his journey. So what are you waiting for? Learn more about his adventures at the links below. Together, we are strong.